Now, one of the most important tasks you're going to need to do on a regular basis is a backup of your online projects like website files or maybe even databases also. Now, on occasion, you might have to restore one of these backups in order to fix your broken website or busted database. This video will cover both the backup and the restore process. Now, once you're logged into your cPanel control panel, in the files panel, you're going to see a couple of options here, backups and backup wizards. In most cases, you'll see these two options. The backups, click on that. It'll bring us to this page here. And it's good to read this right up here to let you know that pretty much this full website backup isn't going to do you much good as far as restoring your broken website to its unbroken state. These are only good for archive purposes. So I'm not even going to mess with this. For this demonstration, we're going to go down here and either download the home directory, download one or all of your databases, and or email forwarders and email filters if you have those created. Frankly, I'd want to get a backup of anything and everything related to any and all of my websites. And if you've got a WordPress site created, for example, or any other script that relies on the use of a database, then you're going to want to also download the associated database to that script that's included in the home directory backup. So that's why I would just go ahead and download everything into a folder that has a date on it. That way you know that in that folder that's dated that specific date, you have a full backup of everything that was on your web server at that time. Let's go ahead and do this. Just click on home directory. Navigate to the location on your computer where you want that file to be downloaded to. And again, I would create a folder, give it a date, maybe label it also backup for such and such, and then click on save. Now you can see here, it's not your typical .zip file. It's a .tar.gz file. And by default, I do not believe that your Windows decompression software will actually work with a tar or a gz zip file. You might need to try something like the free 7-zip, which is what I use. It'll unzip anything. Anyway, go ahead and download this. And frankly, you would only want to unzip it if you're curious, because you do not want to restore or upload the unzipped file or folder. Whenever you go to choose the folder or file, that being the home directory, you're going to want to look for the zipped file, just as you had downloaded it. You select on that click on open and it will begin the restoration or the upload process. Now, as far as the specific databases, the same exact thing. You would click on the databases and I would go with all of them. And download them into the same exact dated folder. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this because I think you got the idea. Same with the email folders if you've got any of those and any filters that you've already created as well. And that is how you can quickly and easily get a full snapshot or a backup and how you can also easily restore from that backup the folders that represent your web server up to a specific date. Now, if you wanted to do this the old-fashioned way, the manual way, you would come into the file manager. And if you had a specific site that you wanted to back up, for example, I've got a WordPress site here under the dogs directory. Open that up. I would just simply select every one of these files by clicking on this guy right here. It says select all. Then I'll come on up here and click on Compress. Click on Compress Files. Actually, I would want to give it a name, like, for example, the date, and then maybe tell me what it is. That way I've got the date and the fact that it's a WordPress site and the name of that particular WordPress site, so I know what it is. And Then I would simply compress the files, and it's not going to do any harm to the site itself because what it's going to do is, let me go ahead and re reload, it's going to, in addition to having all these other files, it's going to also include this zip file. What I would want to do is get this onto my computer by selecting it, downloading it to my dated folder. So if anything were to happen to my WordPress site here in the future, I could just upload this zip file and then with it selected, I would click on extract and then it would extract all of these folders and files that were contained in this zip file to begin with. Now with a WordPress site, you also have the associated database. So you would want to download or export that database that's associated to the site. And just to make sure I've got the right database, I would click on the wp-config file and want to view and see what the database name is. That's the WRDP1, don't need this anymore. 
come on down to my databases in the PHP my admin and I'm looking for the W RDP1 database. Click on that. Come up here, click on export. Make sure it's in the SQL format because you see there's other ones here too. Just make sure it's in SQL. Click on go. Everything else is pretty much the way that I want it. And then navigate to the location on my computer where I want that at. And again, that should be the dated folder where my zip file is for that associated WordPress site. Click on save. Bing, bang, boom. I've got the database, the WordPress site, and a zip file. Everything's downloaded and ready just in case my database and or site goes kaplooey. I would be able to fix it in just a matter of minutes, depending upon my internet connection and how fast I can upload those files. And that's it. That's how easy it is for you to do a custom backup and restore, as well as taking advantage of the built-in backup operations of cPanel. Thanks for watching, and you have a great day.